Hi, good morning everyone. This is Mr. M from Algebra Lesson. Today, in this video, uh, we are discussing about how to how to complete square a quadratic equation and and how can we solve it. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, before we start our discussion, um, you all know that uh, the 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 basic standard form, the standard form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero. Condition is a not equal to zero. Keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, I'm straight away going to write an equation. Um, we have to solve this. Okay. Um, solve, solve uh, x square minus 2x minus 15 equal to 0. Okay. x square minus 2x minus 15 equal to 0. Okay. So, as of now, uh, we know only one method that is uh, factorization, factorization. That means factorize, split, split the given quadratic equation into two pieces and use the product rule and solve it. Okay. But here, uh, the situation is different. If we need to factorize, you should have some factors that will give you the product as the constant and sum as the middle term. But in this case, that will not work. So, how can we perform uh, the next method called uh, next method called uh, completing square? Completing square. Sorry. <clears throat> completing square okay the process is this if you have an equation in this form always you can use the same procedure keep the, uh, the this constant term towards the right okay so what will happen is x square minus 2x is equal to 15 positive 15 because this was negative when you transfer this uh, to the other side the sign is flipping okay that's good and now what we need to do the, the next step is very important you have to uh, you have to um, repeatedly uh, do practice some problems and uh, make sure you know that uh, rule the rule is this add and the square of square of square of half of the coefficient coefficient of x specifically x on both both sides both sides okay and the square of half of the coefficient of x on both sides okay we can check what is what is that okay so x square minus x is equal to 15 so what is the coefficient of x here uh, here the coefficient of x is um, 2 but I'll consider with this uh, sign also it, it is actually not making any difference but uh, just you try like that, try practice like that try to take with the sign so here the coefficient of uh, x is negative 2 what we need we need half of the coefficient so this is half okay that is negative one okay and then square square okay square that is positive one this one you have to add on both ends of this both ends of this equation okay um, let me take some space so our equation is this x square minus 2x uh, equal to 15 okay you have to add this one on both ends that is x square minus 2x plus 1 equal to 15 plus 1 okay now see now the completing square process is completed the left side of the equal sign can be expressed in the form of x plus or minus a the whole square format Okay, you can write uh, as a sum or uh, difference of um, 
a two terms square okay okay this is the thing so how can we check whether it is positive or negative to know the sign of the middle term or the sign on the middle is plus or minus you have to check the sign of the middle term if this is a, a minus sign you can say that hmm, that is minus in the middle if this is plus you can say that that is plus okay go ahead so what's happening here so you can rewrite this as use the same variable x and I as I told you before check the sign of the middle term middle term is negative so put a minus here and write the square root of the constant that is very important this a is actually the square root of the constant number here so 1 square root of 1 is 1 itself so x minus 1 the whole square is equal to 15 plus 1 is 16 and you have to use a basic rule if x square is equal to a means from this equation x is x is equal to plus or minus square root of a this is the basic rule you have to use uh, for this problem okay so here it is x minus 1 the whole square is equal to 16 so i can say that x minus 1 will be equal to plus or minus square root of 16 that is plus or minus 4 so i can simplify for x so x minus 1 is equal to plus or minus 4 implies x will be equal to this negative 1 is eliminating on both sides by adding a plus 1 on both sides so 1 plus or minus 4 so this is the solution okay this is the solution because this is a quadratic you you can write this as two different pieces that's x is equal to 1 plus 4 or x is equal to 1 minus 4 okay these two are the these two are the solutions of this particular quadratic equation that we discussed just now okay so this is the first case and another case um, of course don't get confused when those kind of questions popped up in front of you uh, we can uh, we can have another question with the leading leading coefficient is not equal to one so don't get confused okay i'm going to write another question let me try to use a different color mm, okay so another question is uh, 2x square plus 8x minus 7 equal to 0 okay so you can you can have some uh, common procedures here uh, as i told you before keep the constant on the other side or eliminate it by adding a 7 on both sides so the result is 2x square plus 8x equal to uh, 7 now in the next step you have to check uh, for this kind of problem see here the leading coefficient is not 1 this is 2 or any number what uh, you, you you don't want to worry about that what you need to do is uh, divide throughout the terms throughout the equation with the coefficient so we have to make that a uh, coefficient 1 so divide with 2 2 2 done so cancelled out okay what happened cancelled 4 and sub by 2 so this is x square plus 4x is equal to 7 by 2 so now you know what to do what is next you apply the rule what is the rule um take half of the coefficient coefficient is 4 half is 2 so 4 by 2 is 2 then you have to square it square it answer is 4 so you have to you have to uh, add this number so you can write here so x square plus 4x plus 4 equal to 7 by 2 plus 4 okay don't get confused from where i got this 4 what is that 4 the coefficient of x is 4 divide that uh, coefficient by 2 always so your answer was 2 then what you need to do you have to square it so that that answer is 4 that answer you have to add both sides of the equation so this is uh, x square plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 7 by 2 plus 4 okay as i told you before 
the prog the the process of completion completing square is com uh, already done so how can we how can we write this as the form of x plus or minus say the whole square so parenthesis variable check the middle term sign sign is positive so here the, the sign is positive and what is the place of a the a represent the square root of this constant square root of 4 square root of 4 is 2 okay the whole square equal to uh, 7 by 2 plus 4 you can make uh, 1 as a denominator cross multiply and simplify that is uh, 7 plus 8 divided by 2 that is x plus 2 the whole square is equal to 15 by 2 so you can write as x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus root of 15 by 2 okay so uh, from this x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus root of 15 over 2 if i were the teacher i will accept this as the final answer i am i will not uh, look for uh, two pieces okay so this is the answer uh, i hope uh, everyone uh, understand the explanation and uh, if you really wish to get uh, more videos of the same kind or the topics that you wish to get please comment uh, below uh, the comment box and please um, like and share this video and thank you very much